In order for the Earth to revolve around the Sun and for the Moon to revolve around the Earth, it was necessary to make what's called a lantern gear. And I'm going to show you how I did that. What I'm about to do now is drill the 11 holes around the uh, center here to put the pins through to create the, the lantern gear. Um, what I have done is I've mounted the uh, top and bottom plates in the three-joint chuck. There's a piece of ABS backer underneath here. Uh, the first thing I have to do is make sure that we're centered. And I'm using the uh, center finder. And this is just a matter of um, Matter of jogging. And I hope you can see that, but we're we're off um, an X. I'm gonna bring that back just by jogging. The wrong way. <laughs> So that lines up, and now I'm going to jog in Y. Now that that's right, I will uh, set the DROs to zero, zero. And when you're, when you're making a lantern gear, the, the pins have to be at what's called the pitch diameter of the gear. It's a theoretical diameter where the teeth of the next gear would mesh. And there are tables, like everything else on gears, to look that up. In this particular 11-tooth um, gear with the modulus I'm using, the radius, which is all we're interested in, is 0.217. Give a MIDI command to move there. I'm using a very slow feed rate. This is all very gentle operation here, but So what the G-code does is drill the center hip hole and then advance, <coughs> in this case, 32.725 degrees. That number is simply uh, 360 divided by 11, so that we end up with evenly spaced um, holes around the, uh, around the pitch diameter. Now I've switched over to a uh, actually a 1.25 millimeter uh, drill bit because we, we need to place uh, rods that are 0 0.049 in diameter uh, to make the, um, the bars on the cage or the bars on the lantern if you will. Um, this is actually a piece of uh, steel piano wire. Uh, you can buy these in all sorts of different diameters. Um, and I'll show you how we cut these later, but um, I'll just drill one of these um, so you can see. But again, with a small drill bit like this, I'm going very slowly. I'm using a lot of lubrication. It's a peck drilling cycle. Um, which is going to go three, three hundredths into the part and then retract and keep doing that until it reaches a depth 
um, just before we reach the bottom. I don't want to drill all the way through. And I'm only feeding at a rate of 0.5. Spindle is turning at 1500 RPM. As you can see, this is uh, drilling very nicely. I've completed the drilling now of all 11 holes and and now I get um, a very nice fit. Um, obviously this piece is too long but it's going all the way to the bottom and it goes in nicely and it's it's rather snug. Uh, well the next step is to take the um, take the top of the lantern gear that we drilled the 11 holes in and press it down onto the shaft that it's going to ride on. Um, the Arbor Press comes with a number of different uh, attachments, you know, different shapes that you can use to press down with, but I made um, out of steel a shaft that would allow this to pass over the over here. Um, in my arbor press, there are magnets inside, so I just push that in. It's a very strong magnet. The other thing I did was I made a um, a, gu a stop guide here because the gear has to be pushed down to that height. So place the gear on here. I'm going to put a uh, just a protective piece of plastic here, and then just very steadily apply pressure until it's all the way down. And now that's pressed on here, and it's at the right height, so. When we finish making the lantern, it'll work like this. When we put the um, the pins through here, this project requires cutting a lot of um, rods uh, into very very short lengths, and uh, you might be tempted to use a cutoff blade to do that. I um, prefer not to. Um, so what I did was I made a simple bracket to hold my Dremel tool on the uh, on the X cross slide and I'm using um, the the Dremel cutoff wheels. I'm using the ones with the with the blue top. They make them uh, heavy duty with a red top and so forth and I've experimented with them and for this particular thing uh, it's, it, it, I find this the best. You are going to burn through a lot of cutoff wheels because we are cutting uh, steel here. Uh, what I do to set it up, I've got the um, I've got the X um, servo disconnected so that I can um, just move it by hand, and then I. Then I bring the rod that I'm cutting right up to the wheel, tighten it down, because what I want to do is make sure it's flat. And I do run both motors so that any nub that's left would be in the center of the rod instead of on the edge. I'm now going to... Um, Jog the Dremel tool toward the the rod. You can probably see a few sparks jumping off. That's just to flatten and zero it. Now I'll set my DRO to zero. Back out.
Now I advance the, the cutting wheel to the, to the point I want to make the cut, and from this point I just use the, the manual hand wheel to, to make the cut. The only tricky part is the piece is going to fly off and you have to go find it. And, uh, and that's it. These are 0.46 inches in my particular case. Um, and then I just have to make a bunch of these and insert them into the lantern. I'm working on the set of parts that uh, allow the moon to revolve around the earth and the earth to revolve around the sun. This is one of the most uh, complex parts of the orrery. We made these two discs earlier and um, you know, cut the, the rods that fit between them. Now this is just a loose fit right now. These are going to be, um, I'm going to use some cyanoacrylate to, um, to hold them in place. It's just, just a tiny bit of it, uh, just so they don't rattle around in there. Um, what makes this complicated is the earth has to move this gear, which is the calendar gear, is going to remain stationary on the orrery, and the earth is going to travel around this gear. Um, now I want the earth not to rotate uh, because none of the other planets in the orrery rotate. They simply revolve around the sun. So, in building this mechanism, this is going to sit on an arm here, just like all the other planets do. But the difference is it's anchored in place with this piece of uh, Delrin that I cut on the lathe. Um, this little nub on the bottom will be press fit into the arm. This upper portion here um, is what the lantern gear will uh, will ride on um, and you know it'll minimize friction because it's Teflon. Um, the moon, well the earth We'll sit like this in here. And this rod, there's a hole through this Teflon part that's a tight fit on, on this rod. So it won't rotate because the bottom plate, or rather the, uh, the, the Teflon piece isn't rotating, it's, it's fixed in the arm. So the earth will, will, will um, you know, simply revolve around the sun without rotating. The moon, on the other hand, is connected to the to the lantern gear. So it will, now there'll be a, you know, a rod here with the moon sitting on top of it, but this will rotate around. And I assembled it well, just like all the other ones where the uh, the arm has a clutch inside it so that I can actually uh, move the moon into its proper position when I set the orrery and then it will stay there as everything rotates. <laughs>